Hey ladies and gentlemen, it's Professor Williams again, this time with confidence intervals using Minitab. So let's get started and see what we've got. All right, so hopefully you will remember from at some point that a confidence interval is the area within the curve where we believe that the true population parameter will fall. What we have outside of the curve is, of course, alpha, where alpha represents the tail of the curve and also represents the probability that I am wrong and that I have missed the true population parameter. We come up with this alpha divided by 2 because if alpha represents the tail, then in a confidence interval, we have two tails, hence alpha divided by 2. And so what we know is that the left portion of the curve, or the next left tail of the curve, plus the level of confidence, plus the right tail of the curve, is always going to equal 100%. We're just going to use our regular old z-scores, and we're going to use our regular normal distribution tables. Except in this video, I'm going to show you how to dump all of that and use Minitab instead. So what we have is, according to a recent poll of 90 dog owners, the average number of plastic water bottles that their pets chew up per year is 540. We know the standard deviation of the population of bottle-chewing dogs to be 40. We're going to construct a 99% confidence interval for the true mean number of water bottles chewed up by all dogs. So before you watch this great video, what you had to do was you had to apply this formula right here, or a version of it, where we took X bar, which in this case would have been 540, you would have taken sigma, which would have been 40. We would have taken the square root of n, which would have been 90. And we would have found our value for z alpha divided by 2 of 1.96. And then done all this math, and we'd have added things up, and but not this time. Instead, here I am with Minitab, and I've simply opened Minitab to a blank um, worksheet, and I want to construct the confidence interval for the true mean. So I'm going to come up here to Stat, and I want Basic Statistics. And what I know is that I have a one sample Z test. How do I know I have a one sample Z test? A. I only sampled those 90 people coming out of PetSmart or wherever they were. And I know I have a Z because you were given the population standard deviation. So I'm going to click on one sample Z and I'm going to get this great dialog box. I have summarized data, which means the sample size, the mean, the standard deviation have already been calculated for me. So I knew my sample size was 90. I knew that the mean was 540. And the standard deviation was 40. So that's all fine and well, except there's no button to really click for this confidence interval. I need to come down here to Options. Options is going to open a second box, and it's going to ask me for the confidence level. Ignore this alternative right here for now, because that's when we hypothesis test. I'm just doing confidence interval. Type in... In this case, we wanted a 99%. Put it in as 99.0 and say 
OK. If I wanted to do a, in this case, a 95%, 95 95.0, hit OK. So in options, you change the level of confidence. I've entered my summarized data, and now I need to go lay down because this is going to be so hard. I'm going to hit OK. Mini tab thinks for a second, and amazingly, what it does is for a one sample Z, it assumes the standard deviation is 40. It shows my mean as 540 and gives me the 95% confidence interval for the true mean of the population of all dogs who chew up water bottles. Now, it also gives you one other piece of information that you was a bonus that you didn't have to pay extra for and this is this value right here of the standard error of the mean when I look at that standard error of the mean what is that that's simply the standard deviation divided by the square root of n and in this case it's 4.22 so if I went back to my problem what my answer would be it would be the 95 percent confidence interval is this. So I wish I had something else amazing to say, but that's all there is to it. Hope you guys have a great night.